Hey there everyone, it's Matt, and today I'm going to be giving you a quick demonstration and some information on the newly released Microsoft Operating System Windows 8 Pro. Today is the 27th, I upgraded yesterday, and here I am just to show you a little bit what it's like to have it on a non-touchscreen computer like this one. This is the Sony Z series, which has a Core i5 processor, it does have an integrated a uh, small graphics chip, but it also has an external graphics chip that comes with the package itself when you buy it. But it just this is saying this is a very small portable laptop, but it does not have a touch screen. And I know a lot of people are talking about Windows 8 being a very touch friendly device, so we're going to see if this is actually a device that can be used without touch. And working with it for about a day, I'd say it is. So here we go, we're going to turn it on. It's really snappy. This does have a solid state drive, so it's really quick as it is, but it's really quick opening up Windows 8. So we have our lock screen here, which gives you a nice vibrant picture of pretty much anything you want. I'm going to turn up the brightness here so we can see. This is the picture it shows for me. And quickly in this information, in these, you know, whatever, this lock screen should be called. It's given us the time, the day, how much battery left, and how the Wi-Fi is doing. So you can see right down here, if you can see, there's the Wi-Fi meter, there is the battery meter, and of course the day and time. You click once, and you can go, because I keep my screen, I keep everything locked. We have our sign-in options, which are giving me a little bit of problems right now. I do have a fingerprint or a, yeah, fingerprint reader on here and usually I would click fingerprint and it would allow me to sign in and scan the enrolled finger. But for some reason it's not working. So what it does is it bounces me back to here. I have to type in my regular password, which I will. And it says welcome. And here we have our vibrant screen. This is something that I've set up myself. It'll give you a stock set of tiles that look really nice. But what I've done is I've added my own. I'm going to move this a little bit closer so you can see the screen. screen. We have Facebook, iTunes, Internet Explorer, Easy Access tabs, ESPN, my photo gallery here, my emails, uh, my social aspect. Uh, the desktop, easy access desk, desktop button, calendar, messaging, which I have not set up yet, weather for my area. I'm going to pop into this one first. Give it some time to load up. It's usually a lot quicker than this, so I'm wondering why it's a little bit sluggish. The thing I liked about Windows 8 is it just it's really snappy. Apparently it just needs some time to think. If anything, we may move back, which you can easily do by moving your mouse or your cursor into the lower left hand where you can see the start button. Click it and you'll be pushed back to wherever you are. If you, if you remember the desktop, which I'm going to go to right here quickly, it used to be in this corner you had the pop-up tabs where it said my computer, information, pictures, whatever. That doesn't exist anymore even in, I guess, I would say this, Windows 7 emulator. I mean, here's where you launch like programs like iTunes that are not Windows app specific, but there is no start button anymore. And as of now, I can't even find where my computer is so I can check on how much space I have left. Something I will have to figure out in a little bit. But let's go back here, because here are the tiles and here's what we really care about. If you saw the video I just did on a touchscreen laptop, which was running Windows 8, you could easily go like this, slide back and forth, and for some reason, well, I mean, of course we know the reason, it's not going to work here, it's not a touch screen computer, and it just, it doesn't work like that. But it's, but Windows 8's been touted as a very touch-friendly device, let's see if we can use it without it. Here we have my, our cursor, and I'm going to be using this mouse here, and the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to scroll 
And when we scroll this way, it actually up and down moves side to side. So whenever you see me move side to side, you know that I'm scrolling with the uh, mouse here. And you can get that from your touchpad or any optical mouse you have. And if you don't want to do any kind of scrolling at all, all you have to do is move the cursor over here and it will drag you over to the, uh, to the right or the left depending on where your cursor is. You put it here and then you see you put the cursor here, move the mouse this way and it will move. So it's, it's put, bringing a lot of touch features to your mouse and to whatever, you know, whatever you're using. The tiles here are very clean. I like the way it looks. Like I said, it's very easy access to whatever you want. And here we're going to click on one of the applications that you can download for free, the iHeartRadio application, one of my favorites. And of course, we're going to listen to my favorite station, KIISFM. Go back here, iHeartRadio is still going to play in the background, if you want to turn it off, just go back here, turn it off, and slide it down. And what you get here, I'm going to show you, uh, is the Windows Store, where you get easy access. If you're running the Surface tablet, the new uh, specific Microsoft tablet with that little touch keyboard, uh, the first one that came out now from $500 to $700 is... Windows RT and that can only run Microsoft applications like this. It does not have this desktop feature. It can't run things like iTunes and anything else outside of it. So that's just a problem and that will be fixed. Will not be fixed. It will be improved when the Windows 8 Surface Pro comes out probably beginning of next year and it's going to be a little bit higher in price because they're going to have different processors. But for right now we have all our information here. Right now I've downloaded a few apps and there's a few updates left to be installed. Whether it's pending, that's why it didn't go up. My bad. But we're going to check out a few applications that I just downloaded, like Weatherbug. I love Weatherbug. I've used it all the time on my old desktop, on my phone, anywhere I can get it. And here we are. Let's check this out. This is the first time I'm looking at it too. We're going to agree with this. And it's thinking here. And I like the way these little dots kind of travel across the stream. It's nice and clean. And I assume it's thinking right now since this is the first time that I've brought it up. And while this is moving on, these are programs that have first been installed and other ones like the iHeartRadio one that, that did not need an update and was previously installed by me yesterday are very quicky or very snappy to get you where you need to quickly. We're going to allow this to find out where I am and here we are, Centerville. It gives you a nice little screen here. There's not that many tiles so it doesn't need to move too much. But we have a lot of our information here. We have our little weather bug ad. We have our current temperature when we click. We can check all the information here. It's very clean. I like how clean this makes. I like the bright colors that pops from the screen. It looks very nice. Our forecast, our today information, and our maps. Currently, we're going to be hounded by this huge storm. You can see it come around here. We hit by that in a few times. Let's animate this. Now again, I want to remind you what laptop we're using here. We're using the Sony Z series with the Core i5 processor, non-dedicated uh, graphics chip. I believe it's integrated, and you can have the uh, external graphics card with an external CD drive, which I have, but I never plug it in. And even without it, I think it's doing enough with the animation. It's a very quick, YouTube runs really well, really well. videos play really well. And we're seeing the storm is probably going to hit us. This is about where I am, and I'm going to be hit by that huge storm. Maybe no school, maybe no work, if we're lucky. So we're going to go back, 
go to the bottom left, go back up here to the screen. Uh, we're going to check out our Internet Explorer. And of course, what we see first is my YouTube page. It's easy to open and close windows now and check where you are. What you're going to do here is you're going to right click in a space that's not populated by a picture or something. And if you want to add something, we definitely can. And here, let's go to ESPN. And as you can hear, YouTube is still playing in the back. So we're going to go back here. We're going to pause that. We're going to right click, go back to ESPN. And it loaded really quickly. It just pops up. It's really clean to see. You don't have any bars on the top or the bottom, but you can bring them up again by right-clicking and you can see exactly where you are. It's really nice and really quick. We're going to close out this. And I really like having full screen real estate wherever you are. What we're going to do quickly is take a look at uh, iTunes, which is going to be running on the desktop Windows 7 emulator because it can't be launched in Windows, new, new Windows tiles. You can see here's iTunes, we're going to go back here, and I did put a quick access button right here. But it brings us back to this, and then it opens it up. But it does it really quickly. But if you want to stay in those tiles, there are certain programs where you're not going to be able to do that, regardless of what you want. And of course, we're going to bring this up. And there it is. It works very quickly. So there's a lot of stuff to go through, but this is just a really quick overview of what Windows 8 is. I'm going to be doing more videos in the future on this just to show you what the ins and outs are. But if you want to upgrade, they're having a special $40 up upgrade from Vista, XP, and 7. And you can do that here. But you can upgrade for $15 if you bought a laptop or any kind of computer PC in the last six months. And what you have to do is go to Microsoft's homepage or Google or Bing Windows 8 upgrade for $15. And what you'll do is you'll just register, you'll tell them where you bought the computer, you'll tell them about when you bought it and what the model is, and you'll get this promotion code to get it for $15. And this would be for Windows Pro, Windows 8 Pro, a very good operating system. I like it a lot. It's very clean. It's very colorful and nice. Just like the Windows 8 and Windows 7 operating systems for the phone, it looks very nice. And I'll be doing more videos of this, but this is a first look at Windows 8 Pro running on a non-touch screen laptop. This has been Matt for Creative Reviews. Find me on Facebook, WordPress, Twitter, anywhere you can. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like about these videos, and I'll see you guys next time.